Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, right? Today we're gonna talk about the revamped takeover system in NBA 2K25, but before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, as like of the video, push the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and put your note again for my daily uploads. Without further ado, let's hop straight into the video. Okay, so, first and foremost, um, the takeover system in NBA 2K24 was a new takeover system that we had um, never seen before with the aspect of being able to select your takeover regardless of what attributes you had right so we already knew from previous 2ks you know if you were a pure blue ch a pie chart or if you had a lot of finishing then you will most likely have a slashing takeover well 2k24 said you know what doesn't matter what type of build you have um, if you get takeover, you can, you know, enhance a plus 10 to whatever aspect that might be. So you could be a straight up pure sharpshooter, right? Don't even have driving dunk. But if you wanted to activate slashing takeover, you can activate that. And, um, of course, you know, be able to benefit for whatever that plus 10 gives, you know, those attributes that you have. Now, in my humble opinion, um, initially I liked it, but as time went on, I just felt like it was just kind of like, eh, I don't know, man. I don't really like that. You know, it's not like Steph Curry, if he gets hot, all of a sudden he's going to start, you know, getting contact dunks. You, you see what I'm saying? Now, some people might like that whole arcadey aspect. And don't get me wrong, I do prefer more arcadey. Um, basketball than I do true simulation right I feel like if you go too simulated the game kind of gets clunky and I can tell you that EA, um, EA college football definitely has benefited with the, the aspect of it is way much faster arcadey more offense right you can score um, fast pace now I think people like that you know so um, just keep that in mind but I feel like there are three different types of takeovers or ways of going about takeovers that are new and could truly um, revamp the takeover system and help certain people, okay? So let's talk about this right here. And I want y'all to listen very closely when I do these, okay? So number one, okay, it's gonna be a perk takeover system by playing with randoms, okay? So this right here will benefit people that literally play with randoms all the time okay um they don't have any teammates and you know to get on the courts and they play with random people they have no chemistry with they don't know right so it will help the randoms obviously be able to compete a little bit better with um individuals that roam with squads right um and again so what will happen is is that if you step on the court and these individuals aren't your friends you have no um you know history of playing with them what will happen is is that off rip at, by starting getting on the floor you immediately get um i don't know you can have a set number of a plus da 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 to all your attributes okay to all your attributes for wondering with randoms okay now what this would do is this will again it will motivate individuals to just get on the dots and play you see what i'm saying just get on the dots and play because your your, your, your individual teammates are going to get better boost for not knowing each other and of course that should help you be able to win you should also get um a percentage boost if you win a huge percentage boost if you win now i know that this used to be something back in the day like if you you know got on the, the streaks and you um ended a you know a 20 game streak and that type of deal so that is something that i'm kind of going off of but now as a random you step on a court you can get if you win you know it's almost like you get this like say you get four times rep you know what i'm saying four times rep for winning with randoms you see what i'm saying i think that would be a massive benefit and of course your takeover system you will have the plus attributes to all your your um your you know your attributes a so plus 10 plus 5 whatever it is but it's going to be to and again I, i'm giving a straight number maybe it's you know a plus 5 to your shooting because you know like you already have high shooting maybe it's, it's customizable or something like that right but regardless i feel like that's going to be huge now on the flip side okay we'll also have what i would like to uh, the same thing where you have your dynamic dynamic takeover or you can have well more like a synergy type takeover by playing with friends and again a lot of people do play with friends but you'd be amazed that more people play with randoms than they do play with friends okay um but it'd be something like um you could encourage strategic lineups okay 
encourage strategic lineups. It's like a dynamic. And again, when I say dynamic, because um, my team had did something with this and I thought it was a good idea to implement it in the park. So if Shaq and Kobe, if you have Shaq and Kobe on a court together, they get immense attributes because you know it's Shaq and Kobe, Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, that type of deal. Okay. So obviously the way to implement this in the my player park if they're not going to use templates if they use templates this will be easy oh my god and we talked about i talked about templates and how i feel like that is the wave free to play template builds each position has like 15 to 20 template builds free to play right but then let's say for instance those template builds the point guard template build that is you know more of a i don't know let's say it's more of a playmaker right just a pure playmaker type template and then his dynamic duo right will be a template build that is a pick and roll inside that catches lobs and by them two playing together they get a massive boost and they get unique okay abilities all right so again like i said i know this sounds insane but to me i feel like what it would do is it would encourage people to run with different lineups okay it will encourage them to run with different lineups or if you're on, if you're randoms and you happen to step on the dots and, or you you're walking around and you're trying to find randoms to run with and you're that pure playmaker and then you see that inside template and you're like yo gotta run with him because that's gonna give me a boost y'all you know sending each other messages and but hey yo you know i'm a pure playmaker like you know, he's like yo you're a high flyer like you know let, let's team up you know something like that and then of course you get that dynamic boost on top of running with a random you get that boost and you get that you know ability it just opens up the imagination of how you could play and it gives you know obviously the ability to just mix things up and not have everybody running with the same exact lineup all right um again this is very vague because i feel like this is open conversation for individuals to try to come in the comment section and give us some exact ideas and numbers on that okay i do believe like i said in my first ever video that you know individuals should be able to have special unique abilities based upon their template if they're a pair of lockdown they should be able to get like a really really unique um badges and that type of deal that only that template build can get okay because again that's where you'll be able to have that ability to be unique okay so anyway and then last but not least i think that this would be really really dope and that would be customizable takeover okay so it will allow players to customize their takeover pass by choosing specific attributes or skills um so i guess what you can say is is this you have your template okay and then before you know you create that player and walk i'm already template is free anyway it's not like you put money into it um you would then be able to pick the path of the takeover that you would want based upon that template so again did not to be confusing let's keep it simple with the playmaking takeover with that playmaking takeover let's say because now you can customize this takeover so in 24 it's plus 10 to each category right but let's just say for the sake of argument when you create this template player and he has a plus instead of a, you have 40 attribute points that you can allocate and then you have like seven or eight unique badges that is associated with them and then you can pick out of them seven badges or eight badges you can only pick three okay so let's say for instance with that peer playmaking template right you have eight potential badges that you can use as a takeover but you can only pick three right so let's say for instance you know one of the badges is ankle breaker right one of the other badges now when i say anchor breaker meaning like you legit would drop people on the ground okay um one of the other badges could be um like needle threader but it's like you know you basically do 90 like you can throw the ball right at people and then they're not going to be able to take pick it off right I, i'm just giving extreme things but you're customizable so instead of just being like yo i got playmaking takeover these are the set badges you get give give the community a pool of badges and abilities and then only allow them to select three so guess what the playmaker that you are looking at will not necessarily have the same takeover as the other playmaker that you're looking at right pretty unique you see what i'm saying and then you have those attribute boosts those attribute boosts can be allocated to any category but then the individual gets to select what that is so let's say for instance like we all know 
a lot of people made a pure sharp but if you made a pure sharp and you had a 95 three ball and then you just added takeover it's like all right to your shooting all right yeah you is roadkill but you added like why would i want to do that so let's say for instance you had a 95 three ball you allocate four attributes there just on your three ball so now you have a 99 okay now you have you know 36 attributes to work with so then you're like all right cool i want to have my speed here i want to have this oh but i want to get my defense i want my defense to go crazy so i want to add you know 15 here okay so then when it's all said and done your takeover system will give you unique badges and unique attribute boosts that not every single individual is able to have okay so those are three different ideas of takeover systems. I want to know what y'all think. Am I tripping? Is Uncle Demi going crazy? Let me know in the comment section. But other than that, it's your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon on The Banger Man. You know, when I say back soon on The Banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.